Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Galp Racer 3. Of course, this is the same recording session from the previous episode, but for you guys, you'll be seeing it, obviously, 48 hours after the last one, but I'm still here. It's still the same day for me, still the same time. And, uh, like I said, we were going to breed Wings of War and Desert Diver. However the horse turns out, I'm sticking with it. I cannot do the whole redo breeding thing. That drives me nuts. Maybe I'll give myself three times max if I don't like the way a horse is. But that's it. If I don't get something after, like, the third time, I'm, I'm just, I'm leaving it where it's at. Because, like, I, I just cannot. <laughs> cannot make a habit of doing that. It takes away from the immersion of the, of the gameplay for me. Like, I know... Probably a number of people in the community do that when they play this game, and that's fine. But for me, it just it takes me out of it. It makes me not want to play the game. And I like the grind and the challenge of taking what it, is a little bit of RNG and, and you're figuring out a way to work through it. Um, I'm trying to look at fair somehow with how Billy. So yeah, he's pretty much at his peak now. Uh, we need another grade one win for you. So 7 and 12. Royal Cup? Yeah, who else was I going to put in that? Special pool, maybe? Yeah, her. She's already got a win at 7, so... Caesars, I mean, can you run on the dirt? You can run on the dirt. You know what? We're going to save you for the Caesars Cup, actually, bro. You're, I mean, you are the exception. You can run on turf or dirt. Special pool. I hope she's ready for that race. Royal Cup. She'll probably be in the green, but... Hopefully. If she's not, maybe I'll scratch her. And like I said, modern club, I'm just... Yeah, 740. His GR rank is terrible, man. Um, 10 to 15. Obviously, I know I need to win some bigger races with him, but like, I don't know if he's capable. 10 and a half on the dirt. Can you run on the dirt, my guy? Oh, uh, your speed's not good, so that would kind of be a waste of time. All right, well. Uh, that's all I can do with him, man. Fast Navy, you're ready to rock and roll again. I butchered your last race. That's my bad, man. Cambridge Derby. I mean, nobody else can run that, so you might as well. Alright, so we're stacked for this episode. And Wings of War. Finally, she'll be coming up. The end of June will be her race. And whether she wins or loses, I'm retiring her, retiring her at that point. Okay, Cambridge Derby for Fast Navy. I didn't think we were going to be the favorite. Dry love is. That's a little bit interesting, though. I do admit, but the only game certainly seems to think that horse has the best chance, best chance of winning it, and that's understandable. I mean, Fast Navy is definitely better at the longer distances, anyway. So this is eight furlongs. This is a mile. It's basically a sprint for Fast Navy. It's about to finish third. It's not terrible. We can work with it. Um, yeah. This race is certainly winnable, but I really have to do everything right here. No mess-ups. At least we don't have to worry about positioning because we're just running straight out the chute. Alright, so... Okay, why why the huge drop-off, dude? Do not do that with me, man. Yeah, you're not going to... I got, I got to get a little bit more dialed in with him. Like, obviously, I've won four of his five races, but sometimes I still feel like I'm, I'm a little bit off with his rhythm. Just because I feel like his speed drops off quite a bit without me having to do anything. Like, he doesn't... I don't know if it's his... Whatever his fuel rating would be in this game, it seems like it's not good. Because, like I said, I feel like he drops off quite a bit. No... This is a tough race here. Fast Navy, he's a strong horse, but like I, we're not catching whoever that is on the outside. I think this is going to be second place where what it was supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, that horse got enough, a big enough gap to stay where it was at. I would have had to have gotten ahead of that horse way ahead of time, but I still think that horse probably had a little bit more of a kick. And I think the winner ultimately won the race that was supposed to win. I, I, I don't know. I don't... I still thought that was going to be difficult with Fast Navy. As good of a horse as he is, I mean, Dry Love is a very strong international horse in that regard, so. Uh, or at least a special grade one horse, so I, 
Still think we had our work cut out for us, but still probably need to start fast Navy a little bit more. He's clearly got the stamina. He is a distance horse, so I need to give it a shot. But I still think, feel like the races I'm losing, I'm losing to horses that are slightly better. I don't, I don't feel like I'm butchering them that badly. Just feel like those horses are slightly better than what I'm working with currently. Sweet Storm, I don't think that's obviously going to happen for a while. But everybody else, I feel like they're, they're a little bit more subject to possibly losing those races on merit. Modern Club's up into grade three. Co-favorites with Best House. Whatever, man. Kind of just want to get ready, get this horse ready for breeding. I mean, he's not, there's, he's not bad. He fights strong. He has good heart. But um, I'm not that invested in Modern Club, obviously, because, like, he's not going to win that much more. I'm just going to keep racing him until I'm ready to retire him. But breeding, which might be this year, because, like, there's still going to be three broodmares after I breed fast, uh, excuse me, Desert Diver and Wings of War. So Modern Club's going to have to get his use. And I don't know who to breed him with. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do Sedate Win or... Black Ruby. Black Ruby still is pretty strong. She's 104 for the turf and the dirt. I feel like she's 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 very solid in that in that way. So I, I wouldn't necessarily want to like just throw her with any random sire. I feel like a stronger sire than her with the same stats will really work out well with Black Ruby. So with Modern Club here, I might do him in Sedate Wind, because Sedate Wind didn't do that much. I don't even know if I raced her more than ten times. She was basically like forty 40 to like 45% win ratio in her career. So she won pretty much almost half the time. So I think it would be better to breed her in Modern Club. Bro, where is the space? Oh my gosh. Is that okay? The gap is free. Come on, Modern Club. Come on, bro. Dig in, man. Dig in. You see, this guy's fighting strong, but that favorite is not backing down at all. Fifth place. Tough race, man. I. We got blocked a little bit. That messed up our momentum, so that obviously sucks. Yeah, I'm just going to retire Modern Club now. Like I said, it's not going to get that much better from him, so I'm going to retire him, and heck, we can probably breed him and Sedate win right now as we speak. And I'm going to go ahead and get my spreadsheet open because, Abigail, you're going to be up for uh, name, full names. It's been a while. You have named some of our best horses in this series, and of course that will continue. So Modern Club, you know, no shade, bro, no shade. I got you for a reason. You've already been past your peak anyways. Uh, you peaked pretty quickly. Eight wins, though. You know, it's better than nothing. Tire, yes, breeding. So I think Modern Club and Sedate win, but maybe he'll he'd work better with Black Ruby. No, him and Sedate win. Actually, their stats are very similar as far as turf and dirt, so I think that's a good sign. 76 speed, 85 stamps. So he's got good endurance. I'm, I'm sure that's literally why I bought him, but like I said, his endurance is not 90. Maybe it was at his peak. I keep forgetting. Like The stats do drop in this game. His, his stamina surely could have been at 90 or higher. I said eight win. She's got 74, so not terrible. 88 speed, though. She's very fast. So I think these two could work. I mean, looking at Black Ruby here. 81. Black Ruby. Like I said, she's so solid. I just want to breed her with the sire that has her stats, but better. I feel like we're bound to get a really strong horse. You know, Modern Club doesn't have a great speed rating on the dirt. And said eight win. She's not terrible, but 71 wouldn't be winning her any major titles. So I still think I'm going to do these two. Yeah, I'm going to do Modern Club in those two. Because, like, Diamond Dust, I still think Diamond Dust is going to need... And I think Black Ruby and Diamond Dust both need really strong sires for them to make it work with them. Then again... Yeah, because, like, I don't want to ruin the line even further. Like, I feel like it's already dropped down a step with Diamond Dust, unfortunately. So I, I wouldn't want to take it down two steps potentially with modern club like i said sedate wind didn't do much on track she looks beautiful nine uh nine races seven wins okay she actually won more than i thought i said 40 to 45 percent but apparently that was incorrect she she won she only lost two races out of her nine so she was 114 ranked modern club like i said he finishes you know uh 233 so i i, I think that works still 
It wasn't the worst. He still got him. Uh, he still got eight wins himself. I was trying to say. So again, you look at the stats here. The turf obviously is stronger for sedate win as far as the speed, so that's good. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit of a faster horse. Because remember what I was kind of complaining about in the last episode that I didn't feel like his closing speed was good enough. And as you can see, he's only 76. So if we can get that speed bumped up to a low to mid 80, I think that'll make a difference, and that can help. Um, the the dirt obviously we're not going to run them on the dirt, so it doesn't matter. And then the uh, stamina. Modern Club will balance out Sedate Win when it comes to the stamina. You know, he's pretty much 10 points stronger in stamina over her. So, really, I think they'll balance each other out. Like, Sedate Win's speed and Modern Club's stamina should balance out if everything goes accordingly. You look at the star ratings, they're pretty similar. Four stars both for Guts. Five stars for Temper for Modern Club. So, we're not going to have to worry about the horse being testy. Incline is four stars. Braking is three stars. And Conditioning... Is uh, two st is one star less for sedate win. Like they're actually extremely similar. Leg type we have mid, so that should probably stay the same. Distance is 10 to 15 for modern club, 7 to 12 for sedate win. So we could get anything from 7 to 15 realistically, because if those stats balance out, that'll be like a sweet delight type of horse, sweet storm. And 15 wins combined for them out of 26 career starts. That's not terrible. GR ranks are pretty similar. I like it. Doo -doo -doo. I wonder if the high socks are going to stay. They do not. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, well, I didn't say before that, so I'm kind of stuck with this horse. Now, what's the growth type? Average growth type is going to peak at 4.5. Cost is 360. Stamina is decent. Like, the stamina will probably hit mid to high 80s at its peak. The speed is not good. Definitely got a worse horse. And technically, the high socks just went to, like, low socks, really. So, like, it's actually still there in the horse, but, you know, it's... I, I personally like the high. I know some people like the low. I mean, I didn't save, so I'm just going to be stuck with this horse, and it's fine, because, like I said, I... This was a breeding I didn't mind, like, it not turning out exactly how I wanted. Because, like I said, I didn't race either of these horses that much. And, yeah, so they win one. Uh, she obviously won seven out of nine races. So she did better than her partner. But it wasn't like either of them achieved anything super crazy. So, like, I, I we'll work with this. The speed, is not, the speed is not good at all. Obviously, that's worrying. But keep in mind, this horse is only two years old. It'll have... A full year between two and three, and then it's still another full year between three and four. So, speed could jump up to. Speed's probably going to be a high 70. So, it appears that this Colt still got the speed from his father, unfortunately. But I think he definitely got the stamina. Actually, I think he got both stats from his father because he didn't inherit the good speed of Sedate Win. Three stars for breaking and conditioning, five stars for incline. Four stars for the temper and guts. Yeah, I feel like he definitely inherited more from uh, Modern Club, which is weird. Like, Sedate Win being stronger. That's a, that's just RNG in this game, though. Sometimes, like, the stronger horses don't actually give you the, the better falls between the parents. 8 to 13 furlongs. I like the range, though. So, we're, we're going to name this horse. It's a Colt Abigail. You suggested a bunch of names. Let's see. Hmm. I already see a name I want. Ice Clash. Ice Crash. Yeah, let's just see how this goes. It's a name I've um, seen on the spreadsheet for a while. So, Ice Crash will be the name for this guy. There is something I actually like about the sound of like ice crashing, like in. Not in a harmful way, but like, you know, in, in a glass or a cup or something. Something about the sound of that. It's like, alright, I know I'm going to drink something good here shortly. Or when I'm watching, like, National Geographic, like, discoveries or documentaries, and they're showing really cold regions on the planet and the ice melting. Granted, that's actually not a good thing considering the, the climate of the, of the planet, but it's still something cool to see. At least in parts where it's not super bad. So, uh, neither... Oh, these horses had a mask, and that's kind of been the theme. 
And honestly, good head marking, so we'll keep that visible. Shadow roll, though? Ice crash? I think we have to go with the blue, honestly. I think that works the best. Yeah, I like them. Still has the low socks. They're not high, but still all four low, so I like that for Ice Crash. Let's go, baby. Abigail. Got another horse here, and we'll see how he does. Like I said, the speed is obviously not good, but the horse isn't terrible. I think we can still maybe achieve some success. The horse can surprise us as well. That's, that's happened. So, Ice Crash. Yeah, I honestly like his look. I mean, I like that shadow roll. I like the contrast with the shadow roll and the blue and then just his coat overall. And the low socks, they, they work fine for me. So we'll, we'll see how he does. Yeah, we'll see how he does. I mean, like I said, there were no expectations with that breeding anyway. So I didn't save. I'm not going backwards. Like, it, it's fine. <laughs> you know. We'll see how he does, though. All right. So one breeding out of the way and another one set to come here. At the end of the month, after we race Wings of War. But before we get there, special pull up in the Royal Cup. And, uh, obviously not going to be the favorite. I wasn't planning for that. Simple Moon is here. Lonely Bull, Lost Saints. You know, Lonely Bull is actually a long shot. But Lost Saint, Fine Saint. The Saints are going to be hard to beat. The Saints are going to be hard to beat. So I don't really know what to do differently. I still, I mean, those horses to me are still better than like special pool, honestly. So I have to run the perfect race, or they have to get blocked. Something has to happen, I think. Is also she wants to really run as a deep, deep closer. She's a horse that would actually benefit more from running at least mid, or even proceeder, because she is fast, but she's not honeybee fast. Therefore, her racing so far behind the field like this, it's going to make it hard for us to close in on those really strong horses at the front. Now, I'm going to try to send her, give her an inside trip here along the along the rail. Save some ground. I'm going to get her moving up right now. She's got plenty of stamina. But still, it's a long way to go, man, and not enough time. Now, can we close on the inside? I mean, the favorite's gone. Nothing I can really do there. So she's going to finish in the money, but... Yeah, she's going to finish easy third, which is where she was supposed to finish. That's what I mean, like... Her leg type is, it actually hurts her. If she was at least mid, I could keep her a lot closer. You know, a lot closer, and we could close that gap. It's just, she's not fast enough to close the gap from that far back. Honeybee could do that, and you guys witnessed it in 2003. But special pool here, she's not quite that type of closer. Um, is her GR rank really only 91? Like, are they kidding me? I feel like she deserves better than that. 991. I don't agree with that at all. This game is so weird with its ratings, man. I'm not in agreement with it. <laughs> I think she's better than a 991, dude. But, at the same time, we haven't raced her in a lot of grade ones, and I, I, she's only won a single one, so... But still, I mean, she's won 12 races. She's over double digits. I mean, Sedate win at Modern Club, neither of them won over 10, and they were over... I mean, they, they didn't win 10 uh, races, and their GR ranks were still like 100-whatever for Sedate win and like 233 for Modern Club, so why special pool with 12 wins and a, and a grade 1 win at 7 furlongs is 991 ranked? Your guess is as good as mine. Deep Wonders up in a G2 for the favorite, but Trifon also has a chance my headphone falling out of my ear don't ask me how that happened just know it was not by design it was not in the plan but it's because I I'm just being lazy it's already kind of hanging off I just didn't feel like moving <laughs> I was comfortable in my gaming spot you know sometimes you get a really comfortable gaming spot and you just don't want to move too much from that especially if you're just kind of relaxing I well Maybe some of you are like, no, Eric, I've never experienced that. Then in that case, just, okay, don't, don't listen to me. But for those of you at least that know what I'm talking about, or at least have experienced it, sometimes you get in those gaming positions, and you're like, you know what, I, I don't really want to move from here. Like, this is cool. Because if I move from here and then I try to come back, it's not going to feel comfortable again. It's not going to feel the same, and then that may throw off my gaming experience because I'm not even comfortable. Like, i got to be comfortable in gaming. I hated gaming, like, at my friend's house when I was growing up, and then, like, I wasn't comfortable just because of their room setup or whatever. You know, 
I was like, bro, why do I feel like I'm like trying to go through boot camp and play a video game at the same time? Like, I would much rather just do one or the other. Just play the video game or just go to boot camp. I would not like to try both. Personally. <laughs> now, I need some space here. These horses are just kind of just, just keeping it just six wide as usual. Okay, somebody's got to move, bro. Okay, I got to bump a horse out of the way, and I hate doing that, but like... When they race like that, I mean, they're racing six wide. That's unrealistic for starters. Like, in a race, that, that would have been panned out. I gotta do what I gotta do. Contact. It is what it is. Like, that's when you have to kind of overstep the game's... What I'm gonna call, like, lack of coding or glitch or whatever. Bad just mechanic in general. Gameplay mechanic. That's when you have to, like, overstep that. You know, get your win, get your dub, and, and keep moving. Because... Not gonna lose a race. Not gonna lose a race like that. That we definitely would have won with clear space because the AI decided they want to keep it six wide heading into turn four. Like I'm not going for that. No, sir. Not doing that. <laughs> Absolute blasphemy. Good win though for a deep wonder. Very good win. Um Anybody else ready to run? Sweet Storm. Yeah, she's 6 for 6. Two fif or 115, excuse me, on the turf. And her cost is 2,500. See, her price is almost 300K. She's 143 ranked as she should be in the Britain Oaks. I mean, that's a no brainer, dude. I think she's the strongest Philly this year. She's definitely. I think she's already on the path to get that three year old Philly award. I don't think any other girl is going to be stronger than her. So she, she's already doing well as expected. I don't. I'm not even gonna look in the shop. Like I don't want. To, like we already have horses that are getting more and more expensive, especially with the next couple of breedings I do. I think with our strongest horses. So like I need to make sure I have plenty of safe money. I don't need to buy any new horses right now. She's up. She's still gonna pay a buck fifty. And then the closest horse is Silly Carol. It's silly that it's Silly Carol because nobody else is uh, even close. That's how silly it is that Sweet Storm is the strong for us. But again, she comes from two great strong families. So that's not a shocker. It'd actually be disappointing if she wasn't at least favored like this. World class champion. Talking about my girl. Just kidding. It. That could just be a generic Master Sandy horse. But I'm going to say they're talking about Sweet Storm. They're talking about our baby. I mean, I'm pretty sure she got a two-year-old award last year. She won the Philly Cup. She had to have. Any Philly that wins the Philly Cup gets the two-year-old award, and any Colt that wins the Colt Cup gets the Colt. I mean, the three-year, uh, two-year-old Colt award. So, yeah, she was the best two-year-old on track last year. She's going to be the best three-year-old on track this year. I think she'll be the best four-year-old on track. What I'm saying is I, I predict a lot of success with Sweet Storm because, again, you got to remember the speed of that Thunder Jam, Stormlark pedigree, and then just the strength and the stamina of Deep Delight, Scavid, and Sweet Delight, all very strong, solid horses. You combine that strength with speed, and you get Sweet Storm, who's, you know, quite, um, quite, quite, quite the racing horse, to say the least. So we're coasting here, and I'm not worried. Who else is we're, okay? Silly Carol's running with this too. Okay, wow. I may have to actually get the jump on Silly Carol. Yep, hit the jump. Silly Carol's gonna go for a late start, but that may actually cost him. She's still too strong. This is what I mean. But I think that was a good idea. I wonder if I would have waited a little bit longer. Could that have given Silly Carol an edge? Just because, you know, that horse was second favorite. It's still, I don't think, close enough to, to us regardless. But if I would have messed up the spurt, that horse wasn't far away to take advantage of that. Now, she's not winning these wins by huge lengths and margins, obviously. But I I'm, I'm, don't care about that. Because she doesn't, she's not as fast, I think, as, like, the Thunder Jam Stormlark pedigree. Like, their speed was essentially over 100. I don't think hers is like that. And she is running longer races. Keep in mind, they were sprinters. They couldn't run these type of races. She's actually doing very well, considering that family could not run these longer distance races at all. 
So she got one at eight, and then she another one at twelve. Yep, it's her third G1. All around her title, I think, is coming up. A couple more races to go, but it's another win for our baby Sweet Storm. She makes it look easy. She's seven for seven. 96 speed is getting up there. So actually, like I said, considering the fact that she actually has the stamina to run these races. That's probably what's making it look different because like Thunder Jam and Storm Lark, I could only run them in the mile distance races at best, but she's she actually has endurance. You know, she she can run a couple furlongs longer, so um yeah, that's she's seven for seven here, people. She's seven for seven and three G ones. Like she's doing extremely well. She doesn't have a super crazy drop off. Look at her chart in the bottom right. Like she'll hit her peak basically at five years old, so <laughs> she's only three right now. She's got another two years of strong dominance, and we could still probably win with her and be very consistent her six and seven year old years. So I think there's a lot of winning in this filly because we have finally combined the speed in one family and then the and uh, obviously the strength in another. That's what I was trying to say, but it ended up coming out like I was vacuuming. No, 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 no. Awful. Britain Derby for Fast uh, Navy. This is the type of race he needs to be in. He needs the endurance. The speed isn't bad, but he's an endurance horse for sure. He needs it. Warframe. She's finally up. My goodness. Like This is her last race, win or lose. She wins. I think she'll get a mile or title. If not, it is what it is. She's not going to be happy that she hasn't raced in this long. Fine Rhythm is the favorite. That's fair. We are the third favorite, though, so... We have a chance. Zeus. We have the same leg type, so I think if we can get the jump on fine rhythm, we could potentially win this race. I don't think we I don't think it's guaranteed, but if I get the jump on the favorite, I think we have a chance. We'll see. I mean she's not a sprinter for one, keep in mind. This family is definitely endurance built, so if she can win this mile, that would be a pretty big deal. Gotta get her to the front, though. I don't know what these horses are doing up here. Okay, what am I looking for? Fine Rhythm. So Fine Rhythm is behind us. That actually works out. That horse gets blocked in traffic. This could be our win. Okay, well, now that horse has been able to shoot it. Gosh, just when I thought we had it in the bag, like, the horse just shoots the gap to the left of me. A little bit of contact, but we're okay. She's a tough horse. She can handle it. Her name is Wings of War. Like, she doesn't have that name just for any reason. She is a tough, tough girl here. All right. We got to go now. Want to get ahead now. One tap. Not going to go on the whip too much because it really does drain your stamina a lot in this game. But did I go too soon? Ah, did I go too soon? I may have, because we're going to drop down. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. I really felt like that could have been a win there, but I went way too soon. I took her stamina for granted and uh, shot that a little too fast to the moon. So, Oh, that's a bummer, man, because I, I, I really felt like we were in a position to win that. I felt like we ran that pretty well, but it's fine. Sorry, just getting some snacks here. Yeah. Because who says you can't play video game and snack? I do. I'm sure maybe some people don't actually like doing that, but I can. I, I usually don't make a habit of it. Like it, it's every blue moon, especially when I'm playing like a casual game like this. Like I, I don't mind like eating and playing at the same time. But any game I'm seriously committed to, that's not a normal thing. Fast Navy's having a Brit Derby. Even Link's here. Are we the favorite? No, we're close. I figured. Proud Steel's a favorite. Okay, even Link is second. We're third. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, like I said, Fast Navy is not the best horse in this game, as good as he is. So. Alright, fair enough. Freaking gummies, man. Fast Navy. Oh my god, that's with a world class. What, what, what is she talking about? Honestly, <laughs> what is she talking about? I'm being silly, of course. All right, uh, I gotta watch out for Price Proud Steel. Okay. Lost Fast Navy is comfortable. We're fine. Hope you guys have been enjoying the episode as always. 
It's been alright. I mean, we've got... I mean, we definitely haven't won as much. I mean, six races, only two wins, so I need to pick that up. But it hasn't been terrible. Modern Club, I knew that race, you know, whatever was going to happen. Warframe, I definitely wish I would have won that race, but I think I went too soon. I was a little too over-anxious about getting her ahead of the, the favorite, and I ended up sending her too soon, so... It is what it is. Like I said, win or lose, that was going to be her last race. Obviously, her winning would have been a nice note to send her off on, but she still did very well for what... Considering her, her parents. She did, she, I mean, she did better with both of them. I can't even remember who I bred Warframe with, but... Um, I want Fast Navy. Did I get him going to... No? I think I got him going at the right time, actually. Oh, he's closing the gap nicely here. Fast Navy closing the gap... Very nicely. Is anybody coming up and challenging us? Oh, yeah, on the inside, it's going to be close. Come on, Fast Navy. It's going to be a photo. Ah, oh, I don't know. We may have just got nagged at the line there. It's a really strong race for Fast Navy, though. My gosh. Yep. Ah, oh, Inside Horse just got us. I think Was that Proud Steel? That came back and got us in the end? No, Proud Steel finished in 11th. Double so. So no horse that was even supposed to finish in the top three. So that's like a... I don't even... If anybody remember that horse's odds, was that horse a long shot or just kind of like supposed to finish in the middle of the field or maybe fourth or fifth? I can't remember, but... Hots, you know, even Link finished fourth and the favorite, Proud Steel, finished in 11th. So like Double Soul ends up shocking the world in the Britain Derby. Good result for Fast Navy. I mean, we, we lost that at the line. It was basically his race to win. There was nothing I could do about that. I wasn't even paying attention to that horse. So, not upset about that. I mean, we're getting more money, so our results are doing well for us. Because eventually if we get some super horses to pop up, I will acquire them depending on who. But... We have another horse to enter into the Hall of Fame here, ladies and gentlemen. It is Wings of War. And uh, 26 starts, 16 wins, grade ones, I can't remember how many, but she had two titles. All-rounder and heroine of USA, which is the first time I've actually gotten that with any of my gals. So Wings of War, she's special for that. And look, and look at that medal on the bottom right. That's beautiful. That's all for this girl. So I'm happy with what she achieved for what it's worth. Let's go ahead and save her. Use her in some offline mode stuff. But yeah, like I said, her father only won six races with one title of entertainer. She actually won two titles on merits, like based off of her skill. And like I said, she had 16 wins, so she doubled, she more than doubled her father's wins, so. Wings of War Retire, Hall of Fame, of course, and Breed, of course. Let's check her out in the Hall of Fame. Like, I have the most horses in the Hall of Fame in this game. This is like the strongest series I have out of all the God Racer titles. Frugal Ark, of course, is number one. Thunder Jam was number two with one title. Stardust King was number three with three titles. Warframe was another four with only one title. Like I said, six wins, no G1s for him. Stormlark, Sweet Delight, The Wings of War, like I said. Two, uh, nine G1s for her. Her father had none. She got nine. She almost got ten. Sixteen wins. All-rounder and the heroine of USA. Like, that is a good jump from this guy, her father, who was very consistent, hence why she was able to take that and run with it. So Wings of War did very well considering. That's the progress I want to see. Take what the parents did, do two times better than that. And we built off of that. So, um, yeah, we have, uh, how many Phillies do, I mean, how many mares do we have in here? Rugal Arc, that's one. Um, Sweet Delight is two, and the Wings of War three. So, yeah, the last two Hall of Famers have been the Gals, Sweet Delight and uh, Wings of War. But Storm Lark, one boy, Warframe, two boy, Stardust King, three boy, and Thunder Jam, four. All right. So Hall of Fame looking good here, man. We, we've had some really strong horses, and the thing, this is not even the best they can they can get to. Like, I still haven't even hit that point yet. So, Desert Diver and Wings of War. I am going to save right here, because I might... This is, this is an important one, so... 
Yeah, this is an important one, so I want to take this seriously. So Desert Diver, Wings of War. I think this makes the most sense, honestly. Um, their turf rating is almost the same for uh, for both of them. 84 for Desert Diver, 86 for Wings of War. On your right, excuse me, bumps my knee, but um, it's one of those times when you bump like your knee or something, but it doesn't actually hurt or bump a part of your body. Not like your funny bone whenever it actually hurts. It's just like you're just moving and it happens. Just had to explain that. Uh, the dirt rating doesn't matter. I'm not gonna run them on the dirt. I mean, seriously, 110 turf, 109, 87 dirt, 72 dirt, like 83 turf rating for Desert Diver, 82 stamina turf rating, I should say. I wasn't saying speed. The speed uh, turf ratings are 84 and 86. The stamina turf ratings are 83 and 82. Very similar. And look at the distance. 10 to 14 on the left, 9 to 14 on the right. The pace, you can see the light type. We have front runner to proceeder. Going to be a horse that wants to stay at the front and be competitive. Uh, the star ratings, pretty similar across the board. Guts are, are five stars for Desert Diver and Incline, so that's good. Temper's not going to be that great. Breaking and conditioning are four. So, like I said, pretty similar. GR rank data, um, two for Wings of War. Two is pretty freaking good, so I'll take that. And she deserves that. And the Desert Diver 87, so 26 wins between the both of them. Yeah. Hopefully this works out. <laughs> do, 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 do. Give us something nice, please. If it doesn't work this time, I'm only doing it two more times. Beautiful horse there. Hmm. Before I look at the growth type, the stamina, so the distance, the light type, that's what we expected. The temper, actually, this is exactly what I thought it would be as far as the star ratings, the leg type, the distance. I called all that out, right? Now, the speed is concerning. The speed was in the 80s. So I don't know if that's lower or better. But the stamina already at 81 as a 2-year-old is pretty freaking nice. That means that stamina can actually hit 90 or higher. So the speed is not great, but... Wings of War is an endurance horse, first of all. Warframe. Like, the family that Wings of War came from, they were endurance horses. So this is... And good leg type, man. I mean, good growth type. Well, good leg type, obviously, for the race. But good growth type. Like, not going to peak till 5. I like this horse. I like her already. I like this filly. Another sweet storm, possibly. I like this filly a lot. If her, as long as her speed gets to, like, a low 80, and her stamina is, like... 90 or higher? Maybe even 100? I like this filly a lot. Holy cow. Like I said, the speed is not great, but I feel like this stamina has really good potential. She's two years old already with 81 stamina in this game with a growth type where she won't peak until she's five, basically. Um, for me, at least, I think that's a win. Based off of how breeding has worked, like when I've you know, when we've had our best horses and, you know, we've seen their stats as a two-year-old, usually the best ones that have ended up getting into the Hall of Fame, we said we collectively really liked them as a two-year-old in their stats. I really like her as a two-year-old here right now. Speed is not great, but like I said, it's an endurance line. You know, so that stamina already being at 81 as a two-year-old and the, sta the stars turned out exactly how I thought they would. The pace turned out what I thought. And the distance. A very strong endurance filly here. And a much higher cost. Not the highest. We've had high 25s or high 2000s. And I'm, I'm sure it's because of the speed. But like I said, I, I don't care about the speed. And the low temper rating. I like this filly for what she's worth. So name. Abigail, we already got you done with Ice Crash in the last episode. Um... Gianne, we might do you. Hmm. Bless my path. Gianne, I think we'll do you. Now, can bless my path work, or is it going to be, like, too, too much? Let me see. I like that name. I like names that aren't super traditional, which you guys remember. That, I mean, that's the only way I could do it. I think that looks better than, like, putting my and path together. 
I think bless my is pretty obvious to read. And then, yeah, I like that. Bless my path. Oh, wait, then again. Wait, wait, wait. Eric, think, 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 think. Um, actually, now I think about it. Maybe that wouldn't work. Uh, what is my game doing? Hold on. What is my game doing? Sorry, it's just like skipping and doing weird stuff every time I'm trying to type. Yeah, how many? Let me see. One, two, three. Okay, that is four. Yeah, see, I just, I don't like the way that would look with, like, my and Path together. I just wanted to make sure I didn't like that. This is the best way to do it. Bless my Path. I like that name. That's different. It's very different. And it, it holds true. Like, I want this horse to be blessed. So, of course, the blinkers, the blue and gold, the blue, gold, and white is the colors of this family. Uh... I did white with Wings of War, right? White with, like, the blue and the yellow. So, let's get back to yellow. Yellow with the blue. And then the white stripes. Or should we do blue stripes? Hmm. Maybe blue stripes, actually. And then a uh, trademark. We can have that be... White, obviously. Blue is not going to stick out. And then blinkers... Shadow roll. I feel like we've done the white shadow roll quite a bit. Yellow. Hmm. Personally, I kind of like the blue. I mean, I like the blue and yellow with, like, the white blinkers or whatever. I mean, we're keeping consistency in the, fam in the family, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the blue and gold. It's actually my... High school colors from my first two years in high school. I technically went to two high schools because I transferred from one to another. Basically transferred from one school to a much better school on the education and the athletic side. But my first school, that was our colors, blue and gold. So that's actually kind of a nice pay, a nice homage. All right, so bless my path. I like that filly, I really do. Like I said, the speed was never going to be great because it's not a speed horse. It's a... Pretty much a purely endurance family. That's what I want. <laughs> and I can use this family eventually to merge it with the Speed family like we've done with the Sweet Delight and Storm Lark families. You merge those together, we have an undefeated Sweet Storm. Right? That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm basically aiming to do with the endurance family of Warframe, Wings of War, and now Bless My Path. I mean, I should have kept the name Wars, but I still think this kind of fits within the theme. We had Warframe, we had Wings of War, <laughs> and now it's Bless My Path. Keep me safe. You know what I mean? <laughs> it all ties into that family's theme, really. And the blue and gold looks nice. I like it. I like this filly. Ignore the speed. I think she'll be fine. She's got the endurance. And we'll be running at the front. Fast spurt. So she, she's going to have the stamina to stay at the, at the front for a long time. That, that's what I really like. So let's get her into her first race here soon. I want to see how she runs really, really. Yeah, I like her. Okay, grade 3. I think that's a really good test for her anyway, so... Put her up against some tough gals already on debut. Let's get back into racing here. Oh, it's Hal Billy up in the Caesars Cup on the dirt. Oh, we're the favorites, and True Moon is the second, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work, work. It's not going to work. <laughs> I'm being serious when I say that. It's not going to work. Oh, Billy is, um, he hasn't lost since I've been racing him last episode in this one. In this dude, he's, he's feeling good, clearly. He's at his peak, so let's go, my boy. Love this song. This is probably one of my favorite songs to race to, actually, in this game. 
Like, it's a good racing song. I feel like some racing games don't have good racing songs. They're just, like, inherently just, like, it takes the mood, the vibe away. But I feel like this is a good racing song. Very upbeat, very hot tempo. All right. Hell, Billy. Tough horse, man. Tough horse. Tough name. I love the way some of these tracks look in this game. You know, I've talked about it several times playing this game on the channel over the last couple of years, obviously, but it's something about the way these graphics and these colors look, even for this 99 Galb Racer game. It just it feels so nostalgic, man. Especially when you look at the grandstands over there lit up. You, know, you cannot get a modern game to look like this, even if they were trying to, to give themselves like a old school nostalgic look. I just feel like just it wouldn't happen. Okay, a little bit of a late start here for Hell Billy, but we're going to grind away. Let's go, my boy. Grind away, man. Stamina's getting there. Somebody's trying to stay with us, but nope. Hell Billy's clear. He's clear. Good G1 there for Hell Billy. Let's freaking go, my boy. He's feeling good, man. He is at his prime. At his prime, in his prime. Hell Billy's feeling good. It's another G1 for us, and that's the Caesars Cup. 10 furlongs on the dirt. That's a flexibility win there, folks. Those are good to get. Turf and dirt. Let's go, Hell Billy. Yahoo! 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 <laughs> good win there for Hell Billy in Tokyo. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Slow pace, who cares? Get the win. Second G1 for Hell Billy. Continue to stack and finish this year strong. And put him on par for a four year old title. Horse of the year. I still, I don't know. I feel like he could be in contention for Horse of the Year with um, Sweet Storm. I wish you could view, like, the horse's um, rankings like you can in the other God Racers, but you can't in this game. So it's, I feel like you can only go off of, like, their GR rank, really. So, like, if I look at Hellbilly's GR rank now, he's... 86, so, I mean, he's getting down there to where we want to be, which is ideally 1 and 2. And Sweet Storm, what are you at? She's 86? Wow. In her defense, like, we've only run her in two grade ones. Like, if she can pop off with a couple more big G1s, I think she'll jump up quite quickly. Same for Hellbilly, really. So, I think they're both in contention um, for a Horse of the Year title this year. So, special pool. Ah. Uh, Got to get you more wins. I mean, you've only got the seven furlong sprints, and you're not even really a sprinting horse when I think about it. Even though her speed and stamina are virtually the same, it's just like, what do I do with you? Chicago Cup? I'm going to hold off on that, because I feel like Sweet Storm will be ready by that time, and she probably will. Oh, Diamond Cup. It's a bigger race anyways. Scratch that. Uh, maybe we can put Hell Billy. Will he be ready by that time? Can he even run in that race? Hmm. That's a month away, right? I think. Yeah, it's well over a month. He should be okay by then, Hellbilly. He just came off of that big Tokyo Cup win. Yeah, he should be fine. I'm going to put him in that race because yeah, he, he's hot right now, so I, I, I got to keep him rolling. Special pull, so we'll, you know... I'll make room for you, my girl. I mean, title chasing is a little bit difficult with you, but don't want to wait too long. Probably just got to do the nearest. Ah, it's too long of a layoff. I feel for her. Got to just dump her in a G3 somewhere, honestly. Oh, and summer GPs. I, I, I was just glossing over that that race. Nine to thirteen here for Deep Wonder. You're the one that's probably going to need to be in a grade 3, but no, we have a grade 2 available. It's, uh, it's 2 a.m. This is what happens. I'm just missing things. And this is... You guys know the deal. So, yeah. Ice Crash and Bless My Path. Uh, definitely want to get to see uh, both of them race here. Make their debuts. Two good readings done so far. Ice Crash. He's up. Not the favorite. Not really shocked again. No expectations with him. Golf Diver is. So, let's see how he races. 
Let's see how he does. Like I said, I mean, modern club, whatever, sedate win, whatever. Like, this is this is fine. Let's see how he does. He could overachieve, he could underachieve, or he could do just about average. Okay. Okay, he got out pretty well with the rest of the group. So, that, that's a good sign, at least. Decent breaking. He's in the green right now, but... Well, I'm okay with keeping him back here for... I mean, he's in the blue. I mean, no complaints with us so far, so he's pretty easy to work with. I like that. Okay, we gotta get him going now. Okay, let's see how he rolls here. Let's see if he has any any real closing speed. Um, he's definitely gaining. It's not like crazy fast, but he he's reeling in. He's reeling in the leader. Reeling in the leader. Will he break his maiden? He's gonna break his maiden. <laughs> Horse is supposed to finish fifth. He finishes first. Okay. Like I said, he doesn't have crazy blistering closing speed, but I mean, he was able to close well enough. That's not bad, people. I mean, I think that's better than what we probably all expected. Honestly, I didn't really think or know we were, if we were, if we were going to even win that race with the fast pace as well. Keep that in mind. Any slower pace, we could probably do a lot better. Maybe or maybe not, though. Actually, I, now I'm thinking about it, him running further towards the back between mid and closer. Fast pace would obviously work for him. First win for Ice Crash. Let's go, baby. I really wasn't expecting that. Showed heart. It was easy to work with. Summer GP, though. We're switching gears. we special pool. Kramer King is here. Trifing is here. Second death. Kramer's King is going to be the favorite. It's going to be a very tough horse here to beat. But, in a special pool, I mean, she, she's just trying to strike gold here. We've been struggling with her as of late, but there's always a chance in there. i got to keep her in these races. I mean, I, I could drop her to G3s and G2s and just try to stack out, you know, as many wins as I can there. Maybe I'll, I'll eventually start doing that if, like, she just can't win the grade ones, which would be disappointing, obviously. But I have to be realistic. And in her defense, she is coming up against some really good horses, but she's not a bad horse herself. I just, you know. still think I need to be a little bit more patient. I feel like the last couple of races with her, I've been starting her just a tad bit too soon. Because she is fast, but at the same time, I can't start her too late. Because, like I said, she's not fast enough to close the gap really fast. She's teetering between blue and green. Why are they running five wide in two rows? This is the crap I mean. Like, oh my gosh, Gout Racer logic is just so stupid sometimes. I don't like what they're doing, so I'm going to drop her back and I'm going to move her out here. Because, like, me hoping that frees up on the inside with them being like that, I don't even want to take the chance. So I'm going to get her moving up. She'll probably be in the green because she doesn't want to be, like, up here. But she'll... She's going to have to work with it because these fools are running stupid right now. They run a whole race two rows five wide. Like, seriously, how stupid? Okay, get her going now. Let's see how she fights uphill. Okay, she's got a good drive here. Now, once she gets on flat land, she could be gone. Kramer's King's still there on the inside. She's a clear second. She's a clear second, but yeah, she's not going to catch Kramer's King. <sighs> Kramer's King is still a better horse. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that, honestly. It's a good effort, though. Really good closing effort. I feel like I did the best I could there, and Kramer's King was still going to be hard to beat, so... She's finishing well. That's the thing. She's, she's not finishing terribly. I had one bad race with her where, we, like I said, we finished seventh. I just butchered that. Outside of that, she's been finishing in the money in these G1s. So she's staying competitive. G1 to another G1. Sweet Storm. She's up in the Diamond Cup. Big time stuff here. I'll be shocked if we're not the favorite and not the heavy favorite at that. Vivid runs here. Is anybody here I should be worried about? Honestly, no. And I shouldn't. She's going to pay a buck twenty to win. And the closest second favorite is Cruel Love at four, basically five dollars to win. Like I said, I, I would have been shocked if we were not the favorite. She is definitely the strongest gal, maybe even the strongest horse this year for three rolls. 
Sweet Storm's the real deal, people. We finally combined the speed and the strength families, man. She's the real deal. Let's see if she backs it up again. She gets out well. Long race. 12 furlongs, but I mean, she can handle it. She can certainly handle it, and uh, I have no doubts. There's our beautiful gal. I just wish I could see her face more. I kind of can't through the transparency. This one is blocked by like the you know the speed and the stamina, but it's really the best I can do. Yeah, she's running nicely, man. She's running nicely. No, I don't know if I want to get her started a little bit sooner. I feel like since I've been starting her a little bit later on her spurts, that's what's been keeping the races within three lanes. I'm curious if I can send her going a little bit earlier. We'll see. I mean, I'm going to keep her right up with these leaders. Okay, now we're going to go. Now we're going to go. Sweet Storm, she's taking off. She's taking off and she's running away with the Diamond Cup. I'm just, she's too strong, people. She's too darn strong, man. Now somebody is closing pretty crazy here. But she's still too strong. Really crazy closing speed there. And I still could probably be a little bit more patient. I think that one I did jump the gun early because the leaders jumped the gun. But I, I just wanted to make sure we had a comfortable margin. That way if somebody closed in on us accidentally or out of nowhere, we would still have enough to win. And we win again. Diamond Cup. So, that's another G1 win for Sweet Storm. That's her fourth. And that's another 12 furlong win. Two at the mile distance, two at 12 furlong. She gets it done. And most importantly, people, she remains undefeated. <laughs> cool love. Second favorite. Sure. That that can happen. And like I said, I did. I, I could have waited 200 meters, honestly. Could, wait, could have waited a little bit more. Maybe less than that, I should say. Um, just so she wouldn't have been so tired. And the whip doesn't help either. I, I really need to be more mindful about not whipping so much. But the win was never not going to happen there, is my point. <laughs> she gets it done. She's 8 for 8. She's 8 for 8. Her speed's getting up to 100. And she's GR rank 50. That quickly she's dropped 36 points. Because that's what I mean. Like, she'll hit GR rank 1 and 2 in no time. A couple more wins like that. She'll already be at the top of the board. Ice Crash, what are you? Okay, you're still 105.3. It's fine. So, yeah, good stamina. And speed's not that great. But strong enough to close in at the right time. So, if anything, I probably need to... If I need to get him started sooner. Fast Navy, you've dropped a couple. Super Sprint, ha... Ah. Super Mile, I just, those aren't really his ideal races, but again, like, who else is going to run them? Nobody, so I might as well put him in there. It's like, I have nobody else to, 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 to do those races with. Super Mile's better, I, I'm not going to do the Super Sprint with him. I don't, I don't think he's that type of horse, regardless. We'll get a couple more races done, and this will end the episode. We're almost going an hour. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Obviously, we was a little sluggish in the beginning. We've had some, uh, you know, we've had some drops, but for the most part, it's been consistent, pretty much across the board. And we've gotten uh, some important Grade One wins, mainly for Sweet Storm. Actually, I don't know if anybody else has even won a Grade One. No, oh, hell, Billy, he's he's on a roll too. So, uh, Billy and Sweet Storm, they've they've been the MVPs of today's episode. But debut here, Grade Three, bless my path from Wings of War. Or from Modern Club, I should say, out of Wings of War. I don't know if we're going to be the favorite. I think it's a pretty tough G3 field for her maiden as a two-year-old. Let's see. Long shot. Six furlongs. What's her distance again? 10 to 14? I mean, yeah, she's not a sprinter. That's the thing. She's totally not a sprinter. <laughs> okay, my recording just stopped. Oh, I forgot. 
that happens because um I have my uh, software set to basically record an hour max, at least for on the emulator. PS2 I can record as long as I want, but here I have it at an hour just to make sure because sometimes the files will get bigger than I want for no real reason, and I want to make sure everything is good. So do a quick sync check here just to make sure we're all good to go when I edit this video later. Um, five, four, three. That's important to do sometimes. I don't have to do it all the time, but it definitely helps. Especially since, like I said, I have audio issues I just can't figure out because like my capture software is just so freaking old at this point. I'm just broken down. Okay, gotta get to the front here. Been running six, well, we've run a furlong and a half. I'm still not at the front, but like I said, she's not a sprinter, man. She is not a sprinter, so I'm gonna have to do the best I can just to hustle her up here as much as I can, but that's all I can really do. She's still in the yellow because we're running so hard, so it's like that. We didn't have a choice. We did not have a choice. So we're not going to really get to see her true potential until we run her at a longer distance. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to find a 10 for a long for her. Yeah. I mean, she has 65 speed. Like, yeah, she's not winning that race. Not even close. That's not her lane. She's an endurance horse. So I just want to build more and more on the endurance. Then we can start to work the speed in there. Like I said, she's got a good growth type as well. Pretty similar to her mother's, really. Decent stats. So, yeah, that that's not good. But that's that was expected, in my opinion. So let's look for an actual 10 furlong race in the future. Nine, something I think she can do. Nine is better. I'm going to run her in a grade three again. That's better still. I, th I think she needs much longer. She needs like the 12 for long races, which there's not a whole lot of those for two-year-olds in their first year. So, you know, we're just going to have to be patient with her. She's not a horse that's going to come out of the gate just winning like Sweet Storm because she is purely an endurance horse and she needs those longer races for sure. Um... So yeah, I'm not worried about that six furlong race. If that was a ten furlong and that was our result, I'd be concerned. I'm not worried about that at all. Fast Navy's up in the Super Mile Cup. Not the favorite because he's not a sprinter. Can he run a mile? Sure. Can he be fast in a mile? Sure. Is he the fastest at a mile? Definitely not. So it's a stacked field, though. Honestly, like love the mine. Gray Army Sedate Angel. Best expert, fresh time. Like, it's a pretty competitive. Lonely Club. There's technically only three horses out of 12 that don't have a chance. Everybody else has a chance to finish in the top five and win. So, very tough field. Fast Navy hasn't gotten the the, uh, the best end of the deals here with these fields. We've always been up against horses that are typically stronger than him. Like, he's not racing against horses that aren't better than him. That's why, like, I feel like we've struggled a little bit with him recently. You know, game is putting him against some really tough horses, which deservingly so. He should be. I mean, he's a very good horse in his own right. Hmm. Yeah, the feel is just a little bit off, though. Like, I mentioned that, I think, either earlier in this episode or the previous one. I still feel like if the feel rating was a thing in this game, like, that you could actually see it. I feel like his is just a little bit low. It's a little bit difficult to kind of get him into the right groove that I want him in. Here we go. Come on, man. Let's go. These horses are fast, man. They are fast, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, we're still in 10th. I think we're going to close in here. Oh, come on. We could have finished so much higher, but my goodness, guys. Every horse in that field finished within two lengths of each other, basically. We weren't... Okay, we were separated by three lengths tops. That doesn't happen that often in sprinting horse races. Usually, you have a couple of stragglers, so... Seventh, not terrible. I mean, not bad, not great. Um, and you see that... I mean, we could have finished third, technically, because third through six finished by a head and a nose. That was a really close Super Mile Cup, man. He just he doesn't have the speed for it. Only thing I could have done differently was get him started faster, but again, we've done that before. 
So yeah, Fast Navy. Dropping the ball a little bit with him, but it's weird. Like I used to, have, I'm definitely out of sync because he's the main horse I used when I played growing up, and I won with him a lot. Him and Kramer's King, but I'm not in rhythm with him now for whatever reason. Deep Wonder favoring G, uh, G2 here. Yeah, I'm not in rhythm with Fast Navy at the moment. I'm gonna get it figured out. Don't worry. Yeah, lose a couple of races, and people are like, ah, you, you forgot to play the game. No. It's not it. It's not it at all. It happens. Sometimes you just hit those type of kind of uh, not so great runs. But I will get it together. Because like I said, I've raced and I've won with him a lot before. Just right now, yeah, for whatever reason, I'm just not dialed in with him and in his running style. But. I'm not worried. But I gotta pick it up soon because he was undefeated and then we've essentially dropped four races since of him not winning. So if I want to breed him with Sweet Storm, I mean, I got to get him winning ASAP. And can't have too many more of those, obviously. And I still think maybe, like I said, especially for those sprinting races, I have to get him started sooner because he doesn't have crazy closing speed. So I have to get him started like really soon. Like, right on the nail, I think, for that to work out for us. So, Deep Wonder, what can you do from back here, bud? Remember, I said he doesn't have great clay, great closing speed. Uh, come on, Deep. You're the favorite, bro. Dig in. It's the same thing with him, man. Like, he just gets up there. He just doesn't have the speed to get past. It's the same thing with this guy. But, again, I bought him for his uh, endurance. He's not a speed horse. His speed isn't bad, but I bought him mainly for his endurance. So it's the only thing I miss about having speed horses. Like, there's no doubts in those situations. You know, as long as your horse is fast and they have a space, they're gonna close that gap and win nine out of ten times. Deep Wonders is not that type of uh, closing sprinting horse, but he's you know doing consistent. But obviously, those are races I really want to win. And he was supposed to win, really. I felt like he should have. And uh, we dropped that, so that's a bit of a bummer. So, Fast Navy, what's your GR rank? You're 990. You still have a... Did he jump up? No, I was thinking about Hellbilly. Deep Wonder's 232. He's closer. I mean, he's not far off. If we can start getting a couple of decent-sized wins with him, he can move up. Like I said, speed is 79. He's not the fastest guy out there. Fast Navy speed is 85. I mean, that's that's obviously above average um, for sure. But Fast Navy's only three years old on top of that. He's not going to peak till five. Like, you know, yeah, I've dropped those four races, but we still have a long time with this guy. So, like, there's no rush. That's why I'm not worried. His conditioning is only three, so obviously a little bit of time in between races. His spurt is fast. So I definitely... Th I mean, we still have to get him up, I think, overtaking those horses for sure. So I'm not worried. You know, I'm not really worried about Fast Navy. Ice Crash is ready to go again. He ended up breaking his maiden. So he runs 8 to 13. He doesn't have the speed. I'm going to run him 9 furlongs for sure. I'm not going to put him in those grade threes just for the heck of it. So um, this might be the last uh, race. I'm actually tired. So I want to get ready to relax here. Yeah, that's my path. We'll get it together with her. I'm not worried. Like I said, she's an endurance horse, not a sprinter. Wings of War wouldn't have won that race if that was her debut race, I don't think. I think I ran her six furlongs maybe on debut. Or maybe I ran her in a different race. Because I, I don't know if I bred... I mean, I don't know if I did breeding for Wings of War at the summer. I was, I would assume I did, but I can't remember. But either way, she wasn't winning those six furlong races. Like we didn't put her in those type. Now, mile distance, yeah, she could win eight furlongs, but six is still too short. That's that's literally a flat-out sprint in this game. I'll be up in the Chicago Cup. I should be the last race, and uh, not the favorite. Two co-favorites here with Rigid Art and Quick Bull, but we're sitting right outside of them. So, tough race here for Hellbilly, but I I think he can win it. Like, I'm not... Like, I don't think we're going to get smoked, necessarily. Now, if I don't run this race right, that could be the reality. But I think as long as I 
you know, run them right, we stay in rhythm together, I definitely think we can win the Chicago Cup. Let's see. You know. Decent start. Oh, push to the front, push to the front, push to the front, push to the front. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hustle. All right, good stuff. So what are we looking out for a quick bull? And then the, uh, where's the other favorite? Rigid Art. I'm more worried about quick bull at the front here. Feels good right now. I'm going to keep him to the rail. Well, actually, since that horse decided to just, uh, you know, French kiss the rail as hard as they could, I I'm going to keep him out here. Running good, though. Running really good. Running comfortably. Like, how Billy's strong, man. He's strong and he's in his prime, so. This is definitely our race to win if we time the spurt right. <sighs> Decent pace. Not too fast. Not too slow for me. Okay, I'm give him just a couple of couple of nudges here. Now they're going. Let's catch them. Let's go, Hell Billy. Oh, nice run. Nice run off of turn four. They're fighting, man. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough for a long left to go, and ah, uh, nope, it's not gonna happen with Hell Billy. Not going to happen. Tough race. We're gonna finish fourth. I gotta give those horses credit. They were a lot stronger than I thought, honestly. Definitely would have benefited from getting started sooner but the six horse or the eight horse ended up catching up anyways so i still think based off of how that horse ran but yeah prime script that's what i mean some of these races in this episode have been won by horses that weren't even close to like being the favorite like these sneaky horses that were probably just expected to finish midfield as best they're absolutely gunning it for us in the stretch and there's nothing we can do about it so you know, not a terrible episode. I mean, we got some wins. We obviously got really important wins with Sweet Storm. She's still undefeated. Other races, obviously, I wish I could kind of have back, but that happens. It's not a big deal. You know, I can't obviously do that for the next episode, but, you know, if I'm going to afford a couple of those losses, now is really the time to do it, honestly. If I did it later, I think that'd be where we'll be in trouble. But for now, everybody's pretty much still just about hitting their peak. Getting there close to some horses are actually still two years off, really. So, some horses are years off, and others they're they're getting closer to their to their peak, and they're still doing well. Hellbilly has been doing well. That was our first drop, and you know, is he as good as those other horses in that type of special race? I don't know. Like that was a domestic G one at that distance. He surely would have won that with ease, but that at a special level, I still think that might be a little bit tough for him. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna do it for this video. Appreciate love and support on the channel, as always. Um, we'll be back again with another one. Uh, I don't know when I'll record that, but hopefully soon, obviously, just to make sure, like I said, you guys have content for the rest of the week. And we'll continue to roll on here and uh, be starting the uh, Gap Racer World Cup Season 1 very soon. Then the next week by the time this video is uploaded. So, appreciate you guys. As always, until next time, Horse Reason Gamer sent out. We're doing great for today. I'll see you later, and goodbye.